Good day everyone, this is Dmitry Balkovsky and this is the second in a series of videos about gold monetization in the former USSR. And today we are talking about Kyrgyzstan, which is a small and very poor country of 6 million people in uh, Central Asia as well. It is poor, but it is very gold rich, as you can see on this map, showing all types of um, gold deposits, gold mines under construction, untapped major gold deposits, active gold mines. This country is rich with gold and it has one of the world's most vibrant gold monetization programs too. According to the World Gold Council, it ranks 32nd among the world's biggest uh, gold producers with uh, 24 tons, a little more than 24 tons as of 2019. Kyrgyzstan holds almost 17 tons of gold in its uh, gold reserves as of January 2021. Another interesting thing about Kyrgyzstan that its currency SOM is 38% uh, backed by gold, which is very high by world standards. Kyrgyzstan also boasts one of the world's most gold-friendly central bank governors, Talkumbek Abdugulov, uh, who says that his dream is for every one of the 6 million citizens of Kyrgyzstan to own at least 100 grams of gold, which is not 3.5 ounces, it's 3.2 ounces, Bloomberg is mistaken. The Kyrgyz are famed for their cattle rearing, so uh, many of them still keep their savings not in dollars or gold, but in cattle. But he wants to change this. Here is this intelligent, very intelligent gentleman, and he is a graduate of the University of North Texas and the University of Nagoya in Japan. So he probably picked up his gold bug ideas in Texas. I suppose. Kyrgyzstan's gold monetization program is very similar to that of Kazakhstan, but uh, you can buy gold cheaper in Kyrgyzstan than Kazakhstan, but it is the same range of gold bars and even smaller ones. You can buy uh, bars weighing one gram. They are also thinking of using gold as a retirement asset for their retirement foundation. So it is a small country, but very, very gold advanced.